If there are wild boars encroaching on your area, property loss can be a big problem. They can range from destroying crops to threatening and killing other animals. They can attack humans in any area they come from. The traps also only partially reduce the wild boar population, so hunting is only one of the basic methods to control the growth of the wild boar population. Let's have a look at the following video. Since then, the invasive range of wild boar has spread to 30 of the 50 states of the United States. Like white-tailed deer, they reproduce and adapt to this environment quickly, causing their population to increase three to five times. On average, each female wild boar gives birth to about 10 pigs at a time. They can give birth two to three times a year. Especially effective to kill them despite their long distance. First, you have to know how the wild boar has plagued Texas ranch neighborhoods for years, especially in search of food. How did they destroy the habitat? The front and back lawns of people's houses were destroyed. The puddles on the road were severely damaged. Even the bags of domestic waste were pulled out by them, polluting the environment. You know, not everyone is lucky with roadside pigs. Each year, they cause tens of thousands of accidents in which wild boar and deer are involved. The number of accidents caused by wild boar is about 40%. If you participate in the traffic on the highway, the area where many wild boar live, please pay attention to the speed. This video captures the mass destruction of wild boar in Texas. It is not difficult to think that since the issuance of the directive to hunt wild boar, the state has surrounded each area, covering them in a certain area so that they can better shoot wild boar when it's dark. It's fun to keep an eye on them from afar. And it's not that the boar easily escapes the weapon's line of sight. In a wide range of situations, and hunting wild boar with pistols is considered the most. Wild boars have very different characteristics from bears. They have a very thick skin. That's why hunters aim to hit the chest to shoot, as they are more likely to cause an instant unconsciousness. In addition, the head is also a point that deals high damage and makes them instantly unconscious. If you are not an experienced hunter, you may be in danger and fail. You will inadvertently make the animals angry, attack you, and you are safe only when you have teammates to support. The power and speed of the wild boar. I'm sure it's something you wouldn't expect. In addition to choosing the best weapon for your wild boar hunting, with your highest success rate, it will be more wonderful if you go hunting by helicopter and bring a working dog with you. You see, 
two men walking their dogs to smell the wild boar in just a few moments. The farmers were able to approach the wild boar and shoot it in the head. Shooting wild boar with a gun, some of the main positive aspects are farmers and ranchers and ensure the safety of the people in the area. How do you see this hunting? Leave a comment below in the comment section to let us know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support our channel. Now let us watch the video together. Hello my friends, today we are going to large scale cattle ranching in Australia to see how the process of raising millions of cattle here goes. According to statistics by the end of 2022 in Australia, there are about 20,000 cattle on cattle farms and about 14,500 mixed beef and sheep farms. The most popular breeds of cattle raised in Australia can be mentioned as Brahmin, Hereford Angus, or Murray Grey cattle are currently the majority of cattle ranchers in Australia. Concentrated in states such as Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and Western Australia. The average area of a cattle farm in this country is about 32,000 acres. Herds grew slowly during the early years of settlement in the 1800s. However, Australian farmers took advantage of the land and moved their herds to grazing areas further inland, thereby increasing herd numbers in recent years. The number of calves born in Australia has ranged between 9.5 and 9.8 million a year, and 45% of them are born in Queensland. Most calves will live with their mothers on the farm for about three months before weaning. Cows do not have the required amount of milk. Calves will be separated from their mothers earlier, and they will be fed with milk provided by the breeder. Currently, the average herd size in South Australia is around 430 heads, and in the north the average herd size is about 1,600 heads. After about four months, the calves will be regularly released into the pasture. Every day, the adult will go with the herd to the large grasslands and to be able to move the herd stably, the herdsmen will need the help of herding dogs. For a herd of about 500 animals, they can travel about 15 miles a day to reach new pastures. Currently, the total area of land used for the grazing in Australia is approximately 831 million acres, including areas used for grazing, goats, and sheep. After a long journey, the herd will need to be fed before moving on to new pasture, at which point the hay and straw will be used to refuel for the next journey. The length of time a herd will eat on one pasture before moving on to another will depend on a number of fundamental factors, such as the number of cattle in the herd, the size of the pasture, and this is the resilience of a Queensland pasture.
every late afternoon, hundreds of cattle will gather on this small lake area to drink water. On average, an adult cattle needs to drink about 10 to 15 gallons of water per day. There are currently around 11,000 cattle farms in Queensland, with around 10.7 million heads. The head of an annual beef production in the state of about 1.3 million tons in Australia moving herds from a few dozen to a few hundred animals, always needing the help of herding dogs. Herding dogs and sheep dogs are very intelligent and loyal animals. An estimated 273,000 dogs are currently employed on animal farms in Australia and around 65% of them are employed on livestock farms. Running a fully fledged herding dog business is something not all livestock owners can do. As a result, many ranchers pre-train dogs to work on their farms. In Australia, there are about 24.7 million heads, and this number includes both dairy and beef cattle outside Queensland. New South Wales is also one of the states with the largest cattle herds in the country, with 4.4 million heads. Behind these two states is Victoria, with 3.6 million head. Here's what's going on inside a beef factory in Australia. About 8.3 million cows are processed each year. And the annual beef production of the country ranges from 2.3 to 2.7 million tons. Currently, up to 70% of beef production in Australia is exported to other countries, and the remaining 30% is consumed domestically. The majority of cattle in Australia are raised by grazing, so the quality of Australian beef is always appreciated by consumers around the world.